Hello everyone, my name is Sun Bao Luo, an assistant professor in the Department of Statistics and Applied Probability here at NUS. So I will begin with a very uh, interesting example, which is the danger of eating ice cream. Uh, this is a scatter plot, a hypothetical scenario, where we on the y-axis we have the number of drowning deaths, and the x-axis is the consumption of ice cream. As we all know, during the summer days, more people will tend to go for a swim. And also during summer, more people would like to enjoy ice cream. So here, uh, uh, on these points, we see uh, the plots for the summer days. Conversely, during winter, we see that we will tend to think that less people will eat ice cream because it's quite cold and less people would like to go out for a swim. And so we can see sort of a correlation between the number of drowning deaths and the consumption of ice cream. So if we look at this scatter plot and we think, okay, drowning death is associated with the consumption of ice cream. So if we mandate that ice cream be banned, then will it lead to improvement? in the number of drowning incidents? Obviously, the answer is no. So this highlights the danger that if we just look at correlation in the observed data uh, and make policies out of it, uh, it might not lead to the intended result that we want. And the reason is because the season of the year is correlated with ice cream consumption, and it also leads to changes in the number of drowning incidents. So if we forget to adjust for the season of the year, and if we just make decisions based on that, it will lead to wrong conclusions. In other words, it's important for us to uh, do research in causal inference if we would like to translate findings from data science into actionable knowledge that informs decision making in many diverse areas such as uh, industry, government, uh, or healthcare.